Hi, my name is Alesh. Um, I was one of the founders of Red Pitaya and uh, I was, uh, my role was actually to uh, develop FPGA and software for the initial product. Hi, my name is Borut Boricevic. I'm uh, one of the Red Pitaya uh, founders. I was more uh, involved in the, in the development of the idea and the hardware. Hi, my name is Cert Valentincic. I'm one of the founders of Red Pitaya and current CTO. Hi, I'm Rok Ursic, the co-founder of Red Pitaya. I had this idea of bringing together creative and innovative people with very diverse backgrounds and fueled by a lofty vision has the potential to yield really extraordinary results. The idea for Red Pitaya began at this very room at Instrumentation Technologies, a company specialized in building measurement instruments for particle accelerators, founded by Rok Ursic. Our team of engineers possessed an extensive expertise in developing high-speed signal acquisition hardware and embedded systems. I mean, uh, we started with the with the idea of uh, bringing the technology from the from the particle accelerators to the mass market. I mean, to to, to many 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 others uh, enthusiasts, uh, so to speak. So our journey began with a deep exploration of our strength and expertise. We knew we were pioneers at crafting reconfigurable solutions capable of performing very specific measurements on particle accelerators. Those solutions could be tailored to meet the precise needs of users by means of programming and this flexibility was a game changer in that market. So the question was, can we leverage this and offer something of value on other markets? Now, this approach enabled us then to fine-tune our initial concept iterating and finally designing a solution that retain its professional utility while offering an accessible user interface for those who were new to this field. From the technical uh, side it was more or less clear how to develop this product. However, it was uh, challenging to launch it on the market and explain the novelty of uh, this product category. Uh, from the educational market, there were quite a positive uh, uh, feedback about the product, while other fields were, uh, that we were targeting, probably less technical, uh, had some doubts. Then some, uh, somebody proposed to validate the idea on a Kickstarter uh, campaign, and again the doubt uh, if the idea would be uh, correctly communicated appeared. Yeah, so after our initial product uh, presentation, we encountered some concerns from engineers regarding the SMA connectors. They expressed worries that these connectors would break off the PCB upon their first use. To uh, address uh, these complaints, one of our team members took an innovative approach. Uh, he decided to, to take Red Pitaya to gym and uh, load the connectors with several pounds of weight uh, and capture a photo as evidence of uh, their durability. So my vision was to bring an array of diverse perspectives to the forefront. I recognized Borut as a hardware virtuoso. He was a mastermind in hardware design, fluently communicating the hardware parameters to the software team. Then there was Alesh. Alesh is a software wizard loaded with unconventional ideas and fresh perspectives. And let's not forget Chert, a creative force deeply attuned to the market. In fact, it was Chert who suggested to name our product Red Pitaya. So this fusion of talent encompassing market insights, hardware excellence and software details, we had great chances of achieving really ambitious goal to design something truly extraordinary and I think we succeeded with that. So the internal project name for project was ROSE, we called it ROSI and this is acronym for Reconfigurable Open Source Instruments. Before launching the product we knew that we have to find a catchy name to make it attractive. Back in the old days of microcomputers there was a fruit naming tradition, so this was the time when Apple, Apricot and Tangerine computers were born. Uh, Raspberry Pi brought that tradition back. So when we started searching for a name, I made a list of all possible fruits and I came across this dragon fruit called Red Pitaya. I have shown it to the team 
and we everybody loved it from the beginning because it fitted with the vision of creating a product that it's not only powerful like a dragon but also visually appealing and engaging and uh, since the red color represents energy innovation uh, and passion we decide to make the product red and call it red pitaya well the first test of course was the kickstarter campaign because um, uh, as, as mentioned earlier i mean it was um, the kickstarter was more about uh, testing whether there's any traction for this device or not uh, compared to raising the funds. I mean, of course, it's always good to raise some funds, but uh, the main idea behind the Kickstarter was to test uh, whether somebody cares about such a board or not. Initially, we thought that, you know, just making the platform itself would be enough to, to, to gain traction and to basically build a community around it. But sooner or later, we found out, uh, I think this was the major feedback we, we got from the, from the people we were asking uh, whether what, what do they care? Basically, reviewers. Um, that initial, I mean, it would be good to have some initial applications, right? Because uh, the majority of the people want to, we will want to play uh, with initial applications, and it was just the minority that will actually delve into the details and start and try to try to do something by themselves, which is how the community grows. So the the initial idea was to only provide a hardware platform with some basic software. Later on, we identified that such generic hardware could be easily turned into a oscilloscope, signal generator or a spectrum analyzer. And since this was a time when there was a trend of connecting hardware with uh, mobile devices, we decided to build web applications so that they can run on any computer, tablet or smartphone. The Kickstarter campaign pro uh, proved to be a valuable opportunity for uh, gaining market visibility, resulting in pledges totaling uh, $250,000. Uh, uh, However, uh, this was just a beginning of the journey and uh, the product was still far from being a tangible reality. Nevertheless, this opportunity led us to establish uh, a partnership with a prominent uh, electronics distribution company with whom we uh, subsequently signed a contract projects that I appreciate most are projects that improve our lives here on, on Earth, mostly related to medicine and safety. My most exciting Respitaya projects, however, are related to space exploration. Starting with Respitaya that is installed on International Space Station in the mass spectrometer that is performing onboard air analysis. Previously, air samples were taken from the space station and sent to Earth for examination, a process that cannot be used for long-range space missions. With Red Pitaya, these samples are analyzed on the board in uh, real time. As the company grew, we encountered several turning points. Initially, assembling a strong team and fostering a creative environment was a unique challenge, which was setting the foundation for our journey. Then. A successful Kickstarter campaign amplified our product's appeal and increased our market presence. A pivotal moment was also arrived when a major distributor purchased 2,000 Red Pitaya modules, infusing our company with crucial cash flow. This financial independence actually allowed Red Pitaya to evolve as an independent entity. With these milestones as our guide, the company took on a life of its own. So we navigated through different management strategies, which culminated in the dynamic team we have today. It's difficult to make a community uh, accept an idea forcefully. The best way is to present a good idea that uh, the community can re uh, relate to and generate enough uh, excitement for it to, uh, to take off. However, it's important to keep the community engaged and guide it uh, in the right direction. By creating a positive and co uh, cooperative atmosphere, the idea can grow and succeed with the support of the community. We knew that uh, for some people, the, the initial product, I mean the hardware itself, will not be enough. I mean, uh, it, it will just not uh, meet their, their requirements. 
but still, uh, if they can see that there is some open source uh, platform available, some customizations are possible. And we were also, we were, and we still are counting on, on those customizations being done. And actually, there are some of them going on right now in instrumentation technologies. The company has undergone a significant product uh, development, resulting in a diverse and extensive uh, product portfolio. However, the most significant uh, progress has been made in targeting uh, to new markets and applications. Yeah, I will always remember the day that uh, we received an email from Rode and Schwartz, the world's leading manufacturer for uh, test and uh, measurement equipment saying they are super satisfied and uh, love to work with Red Tiles. Beyond the device's hardware capabilities, the community's ability uh, to cultivate new uh, applications and freely exchange experiences and ideas is a pivotal for uh, the growth. It's not just about the device hardware uh, capability, it's the community using the product being able to grow new applications and freely share experience and ideas? Well, first of all, it's great to be open source, right? Uh, and uh, I believe it's, uh, this is the, 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 the most important thing because you can, this allows uh, others to customize it, uh, at least from the software point of view. Uh, but if any other hardware customizations are required, um, it's really easy to do them. I mean, it's just, um, we are open to that. <laughs> In the future, Red Pitaya will be increasingly adopting in both educational and professional uh, spaces. It will integrate with emerging technologies like um, artificial intelligence, quantum computing and uh, photonic applications. It will sure enhance hardware capabilities by introducing new platform variants with higher resolution, sampling rate, FPGA and CPU performance and uh, faster communication interfaces. All of that to meet the demands of diverse range of applications. It will uh, expand software ecosystem by adding more software features, tools, libraries and applications that will further extend it, its functionality and uh, make it more easy of use. My hope is that regardless of the direction technology or emerging trends may take, Red Bitaya will always stay here to empower young minds to explore, experiment and uh, engineer a better future. You call it a uh, Swiss Army knife, I like uh, the idea. Passion. Ingenuity. Uh -huh. One word. Um, I think Red Pita is just too, too uh, flexible to, to be described with one word. Uh, it, it requires much, much more. It's, it's, it, it's so, many, so, many, so many things in, in one small thing that you cannot just describe it in, in, in a single word.